Oh, good morning, YouTube. Now, Sunday, August 25th. 10 o'clock in the a.m. Fruit trip's done. Just went inside, got me a monster, and uh, what am I have, what am I having for breakfast? Sausage, egg, and cheese tacos. Actually, I got two of these because they're so freaking small, and I got one uh, steak, egg, and cheese. So... I'm going to uh, just eat up breakfast, and we're two hours away from delivery, and then we're about an hour away from the next pickup, and we've got to have that delivered before noon tomorrow, so we can be at our next pickup before one tomorrow, so let's get breakfast out the way, hit the road, and get to work. Right, we're here at Dollar General. We've been in line here about seven, eight minutes. There was four trucks in front of me. Uh, it's two now. The Dollar General's already passed. So, waiting to check in so I can drop this load, grab an empty, hopefully find an empty. I gotta make sure I get a clean one or clean one out really good because it is going to Frito-Lay and they are very specific. Uh, anytime I deal with food, cereal, Frito-Lay, whatever. Gotta have clean, clean trailers. So, Uh, it's 12.30 right now. I've been here since like, I got here at uh, 12.18. Hey, wait, I haven't talked to y'all in a while. I haven't, I haven't talked to you since this morning. We are now, where are we? We are, uh, we're at Petro. Um, well, just to catch you up, we have picked up, we dropped off the load, picked up the new one, We've knocked out about 150 miles of the trip. I am currently at a Petro in Mebane or Mebane, M-E-B-A-N-E, Mebane, North Carolina. 201 miles from delivery, three and a half hours or so. I'll drop, I'll drop it off uh, before noon tomorrow, and then shoot 25 miles over to Suffolk, pick up the uh, Ace Hardware store, and go head to West Jefferson. I need to have that load delivered before. Okay, here's the deal. I, I know I mentioned it on today, but what, yesterday I mentioned I had to have something picked up by one today. No, that, I was incorrect. That's tomorrow. That's the next load. I've got to drop this load off in the morning, and I've got to travel the from Suffolk, Virginia to. Come on, slow ass. To West Jefferson, Ohio. I need to have that dropped off by now. I'm gonna say by noon on Tuesday at the early, at the latest. Um, I shouldn't have any problems. I mean, depending on you know traffic delay, construction, whatever. Because I got I can't pick my my pickup window in Columbus on Tuesday is from eight to one. So, and it's only. 13 miles away from where I'm dropping off in West Jefferson. So, yeah. How big is this load? I forgot. What am I picking up here? I don't forgot. It's a... Uh, oh, it's a heavy load. 40,000 pound load. What? Did I... Well, I, I, I wasn't 40,000 pounds. I wouldn't have booked a 40,000... Maybe I would have. I don't know. Whatever. Um, oh, yeah. That's the first one for the next week. Okay. Anyhow... Yeah, I've got, as long as I get that picked up before 1 o'clock on Tuesday, and it doesn't deliver to Thursday, so, yeah, I gotta, hopefully I have uh, some flawless uh, driving over the next couple days, but how often does that happen? But, you know, I just, today was just a drive day, I was just driving, and I uh, didn't stop, I didn't stop for lunch, didn't stop after I got the load, I just, I just hit the road. Um, but while I've been driving today, I've been thinking about you know, I've always said there's more to trucking than just freight, right? And drive-in freight, drive-in trucking is like bare bones trucking. Bare bones, least amount of money. It is what it is. Less work too. I mean, that's where the term steering wheel holder comes from. You know, when I was with the automatic, and all you're doing is you know driving a damn drive-in. You ain't you ain't doing shit except dropping and hooking or. Back into the docks, right? So, 
But I've always said there's more to trucking than just freight. And I, I've known that. And then you got, you got heavy hauling, you got uh, flatbeds, a little more work. But uh, there's also this the specialized, specialized trucking. So, and I don't know what all is out there. And for the the specialized, and the reason that you go into the specialized areas of trucking is, well, it's just more money, right? So, I would like some areas of trucking that I'm unaware of from from you guys. Kind of throw them in the comments because I am. I got plans. I've got ideas for the future of Country Transports LLC. But I also want to see what options I could add because I have I have a couple of different directions I want that I, that I want I'd like to probably go. But I also don't want to limit myself just because of lack of knowledge, right? So that's what I'm asking for now is some knowledge of the different parts of I know there's you can get contracts to go with concerts and shit like that you can get contracts you know heavy haul um step deck and uh, what is that uh I keep forgetting the letters release goose RGN yeah release gooseneck or gooseneck or GNR RGN um low boys heavy equipment you know heavy haul wide loading there's all kind of different things like that but I mean, hell, if you wanted to be a furniture mover, those those those, those cats make big-ass money, but they also got big-ass, like, man, some of these daggone sleeper companies, these moving companies, they got freaking, like, apartments and shit, right? I mean, how badass would that be, right? I, I mean, I, oof, 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 oof. But yeah, I'm just kind of thinking about the future and the options and the possibilities of which direction to go as I'm watching this black belt kung fu guy over there on the sidewalk do his thing I'll, okay stay fit bro but yeah I'm just looking for options from you but I am here to Petro now I, I stopped here just because I say hey Petro let me just stop I didn't look or anything and I, as I'm pulling up I see this place got an IHOP not huge I mean IHOP's like not like I hate IHOP I'm just I don't hey if I got a choice between three different places and IHOP's one of them most likely I'm not hitting I'm not choosing IHOP right so but this place also has a Duncan, which I've never, I mean, I, I've been in many places that has a Duncan, but I've never actually got anything at all from Duncan. Never a donut. I think I'm a Duncan Donuts, but I, I think they got sandwiches and shit too, so I really don't know what all's in there. Um, but we're going to go into the Petro, figure out what we're going to do for dinner. I'm not, I'm not really, like, my belly's not rumbling like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry, hungry, but I mean, I can eat, of course, but uh, I lied to you. It just hit me. I, did, I said I didn't stop. I did stop once. I stopped. There's a rest area. After I got my load, I, I had to. So this rest area, oh, that's so cute. These guys, they, these, you know, these rest areas now, you go in and you walk into the, the, your men or woman's restroom, you can go left or right. There's stalls and stuff on either side. When I walked in, the left section had two little plastic signs. You're like It's like the the, the well, caution wet floor signs, but they were like restroom closed. So I went to the right and uh, I'm telling you at this point, I have been holding it for a while and things were coming out, starting to come out, wanting to come out, very close to coming out of uh, one and two. You, you know, I had to go. So I get in there, there's already three stalls on the right side and they were both, they were all three full. So I was like, bless that little plastic science heart. It ain't, it ain't stopping me. I went around that film and, I, I, and as I'm sitting down, I mean, it was that close. It was that close. But while I was in there, I felt better knowing I wasn't the only asshole that was going to let some little plastic sign stop him. You got to go. You got to go. That's all there was to it. So now I just, and I, Sunday afternoon, they were probably pretty slow. I was like, oh, let me just clean this half. I ain't got to worry with it. Shut the hell up. I don't give a damn. And that's the only reason you close it off. It's because you, 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 you didn't want to reclean it. Shut up. Anyhow, so I did stop once. I had to go to the restroom. Bad. Um, I mean, it was so close. I, when I was at Frito Lay, I ain't gonna lie, I contemplated not almost because I wasn't sure. I was like, oh god, I, I'm gonna show you what I almost did because it's it's like one of those things and it's, it's emergency based. What I almost did, I got prepped just in case I, could, <laughs> I put a bag in the bucket. <laughs> 
I was that close. I was that close. But I held it off and... <laughs> Another poop talker. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, listen. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go into Petro. Figure out what we're going to do for dinner. And, uh... I'm probably, I guess I'm not really hungry at the moment, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna be a few minutes before I go in there. I'm gonna catch up on some YouTube videos while I'm just sitting here, and then, uh, then we'll go in there in a little bit. But you're going with me, so we'll see you back. Check this shit out. This is on my way. This was on my way to deliver that water. I'm 78,000 pounds at this point, right? Now we all know people will kind of, they'll see us coming at an intersection. They'll want to turn left. They'll turn before we get there, which is. Yeah, dangerous, but if you stall out or something happens, but it's normally fine. But this crazy ass, huge ass mama, me 78,000 pound missile coming around through there, does a U turn right in front of me, and I'm like, what the hell's wrong with you? But we get a red light. The next the next block is a red light. She's in the far left turn light. I, I get up and I go and pull the side of her. She won't even look at me. She's looking over that way. She's looking over to her left. She's not even looking at me. She knew. She was that close. Man, oh man. I'm, I'm, I'm only going like 40 miles at this point, but I still got to drop down to like 25, 26. I got to hit my brakes at 78,000 pounds. It's not it's not easy to stop. So, y'all four wheelers need to remember that shit. And, and it happens all the time because I've said it before. People will let two, three, four, five cars go and all of a sudden pull out in front of the big truck. You, uh, you got death wishes is what you got. So, check out this damn clip, man. It's pretty, it was close. So I walked in, Duncan's door with gate was closed it's Sunday night, so I stood at the IHOP and I stood there for like five minutes. I, I looked at everything, no, so and that's pr just because I'm really not hungry, but I got something for later when I do get hungry to eat. So here's what I got. I got ah, a chicken fajita burrito. And I got a pork carnitas burrito. Never had these. Never had this brand. Don't know anything about it. This is a uh, the pork carnitas has got. Oh no, these are from the Green Chili Company. Okay, I'll throw these in the nuke, the nuker, the microwave in a little bit. Whenever I'm ready to eat them, and uh, that'll be dinner. And what I also got me. I got me a treat. I got me a treat, damn it. Used to be one of my, you've been a good boy, so here's your little treat deals. And I haven't gave myself this treat in a while. Starts with this. Thing of milk. So I will pour into this cup. And then I will dip these double stuffed Oreos in there until they are so soggy they're about to fall off my. I can't. I can't hold them without breaking them. How do you dip? Do you just do a dip and eat? No, hell no. Do you twin the caps and the hell no, hell no. I got to dip this son of a bitch until it sogs up. Like I said, until I fill it in my fingers and I'm starting to mash it. It's got to be that soggy. And slurp it in. Oh. How do you do your Oreos? And I. And that's why. I, I like when I was home. All I, every week or a couple times a month when I would go to the grocery store I would only allow myself to buy these if I felt like I was a good boy honestly because I will if you get that big family pack I sit down I'll, eat the, I'll go through the whole damn family pack at night I won't I won't let myself have too many so eight's probably too many but I, I'm gonna devour the hell out of these I'm not hungry but I will eat these right now and if I get to those burritos, I get to those burritos. If not, they'll go in the fridge. Or they'll stay in the fridge till I'm ready for them. Don't you back into me, damn it. You, you're overcutting. It's, it's supposed to be an angle. Why are you cutting like you're in a 90? Anyhow, that's going to be it for tonight. I appreciate you hanging out. Sorry for the... Just really not much of a vlog day. But tomorrow, we should have a drop and a uh, pick. A, I don't know. Next couple, I've been, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just working, man. That's all I'm doing right now. 
And uh, but I appreciate all you coming around and hanging out with me and the suggestions. Let me know again in the comments. Give me some ideas of specialized trucking, um, maybe possible avenues I can go into if if I decide to. I don't know, but advancement, evolution, right? So thanks so much. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.